Now to the possible dangers associated with hand sanitizers. There are new concerns after a Texas woman told us she was severely burned by hand sanitizer. We told you about her yesterday. The woman says she suffered burns to her body and face when her hand sanitizer caught fire while she tried to light a candle. The Food and Drug Administration has a list of more than 150 hand sanitizers people should stop using right away. David Gonzalez has more on the dangers and what to look out for. Hand sanitizer has become a staple of our everyday lives ever since the pandemic started. The FDA says hand sanitizer is regulated as an over-the-counter drug. The agency says there are three serious safety concerns that people need to look out for. One, it may not have enough active ingredients. Ethyl and isopropyl alcohol are the only acceptable alcohols in hand sanitizer. The CDC recommends using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% ethanol. Fire safety experts urge people to keep the product away from open flames and stored at room temperature and away from direct sunlight. But typically when you're using small amounts to sanitize your hands and the, just the motion of rubbing your hands, that liquid evaporates pretty quickly, uh, pretty much eliminating the fire risk. Number two. The FDA says some hand sanitizers may be contaminated with other types of alcohol like methanol, also known as wood alcohol. Methanol is used to make rocket fuel and antifreeze and is very toxic. And three, the FDA warns of false or misleading claims on hand sanitizer labels. No hand sanitizer is FDA approved. The FDA also says no hand sanitizer has been proven to prevent the spread of COVID-19 or can protect from viruses or bacteria for certain periods of time. Experts say the best way to lower the risk of getting sick is by washing your hands with soap and water. In Houston, I'm David Gonzalez, KHRU 11 News.